Okay, welcome to subjectmoney.com. What we're going to do here is a tutorial on uh, Microsoft Excel, a, more specifically a beginner's tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how to do some basic calculations um, using Excel. So I'll go ahead and enter in some inputs, which are numbers that we're going to calculate. And we'll go ahead and put some down here. Okay, and these are our inputs, so I'll highlight these just so you can kind of see that they're separated. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is addition. So you simply go to this cell that you want to get the sum of, and you'll, you can do 5 plus 6. There. Okay. And um, another another way to do this is equals sum then parentheses and you highlight the numbers that you want to add up that you want to sum up and there we have 11 now you could do the same thing uh, say you want to do it for all four of these numbers you can equal sum you can highlight all four and there you have your answer and you can do the same thing. You could just do equals 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 7. <clears throat> okay. So that uh, that's addition. Now we'll do subtraction. You could just go 5 minus 6. Same thing down here equals 4 minus And you can see how this is uh, says B4 minus C4. Because that means 4 is in B, column B, down 4 rows, B4. Same thing, C4. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go over some multiplication. That's going to be 5, and this will do the star. Star is the multiplication symbol, and so what you use for multiplication. 30. And another thing is I can drag this formula down there, 28. So what it did, <clears throat> it dragged it down relative to the row. Um, right here, D3, D3 there, is 5 times 6, so when I dragged that formula down, it just dragged it down one row, and it made it 4 times 7, 28. Okay, and uh, another way to do this is we can just simply say equals product, parentheses, and highlight those numbers. You just highlight the number that you want the product with. <coughs> okay, so uh, another calculation that you'd want to do is division. So let's just say 5 divided by, it's going to be forward slash 6. Or 4 divided by. And just to show you that's correct, we'll do a very simple one. Two illustrate four divided by two. We all know what four divided by two is, so we just check it. Four divided by two. We'll see. Okay, so we have that. Um, <clears throat> now something else uh, that is uh, used pretty often is like an average. So. Let's just say we want to find the average of all four of these numbers. We just simply equal average. Just average, and then we can just highlight these numbers. The parentheses there, and that's our average of all four of these numbers. And obviously, you know you can you can combine different different uh, 
formula is 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7. We can close that because that's one calculation. Then we divide that by this 4 of them here by 4. And we get the same results. Okay, so those are the simple calculations. We'll go ahead and clear the content here and remove the border. And we will start building an actual model. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, build a model. Um, this is just an analysis of a business. Um, it's going to be a, a water sports company that rents out jet skis, pontoon boats, and kayaks. So in order to figure out um, how much money that company is going to make, obviously we need the amount of hours that it's going to rent, um, the items that it rents, and we're going to need the price per hour for each one of those items. So uh, let's just say this company is seasonal. And it stays open from April to uh, October. So we're going to start out April. Sorry, I'm having trouble. May. Now, what's good about Excel is it kind of makes things easier instead of me having to type in every month. I can simply drag it over June, July, August, September, October. Okay. And I could also do the same thing for years. 1999, 2000, 2000, and there. But we don't want to do that. So undo. Okay, you can see right here that September is not is a too big of a word for that cell. So we can simply go up here, double click on the line, and you can see that it automatically justified it. Okay, so we have our months. Now we need what we're going to rent out. Jet skis. And I'm hitting the arrow to move it down. You can see that. Pontoon boats and kayaks. Those are the three items that this company is going to rent out. And as you can see, pontoon boats is leading over, so just justify it. Okay, now we want to we want this to actually have a title. So, and we want the title to cover the entire length. So we'll go ahead and highlight the length of this. Now I went one over, but there's a reason why. We're going to have totals over here. And I'm going to go up here and merge cell and center. Merge and center. The reason why, we just made this one complete cell. And uh, that way, when we enter in our title, expected rental hours per month. There. Obviously we couldn't fit that into one cell so we merged it and we just kept it the entire distance because we're going to fill it in and make it look good. In fact we'll do that right now. We'll highlight it. We're going to go up here to fill and we'll find the color in there. But we'll mess with all this later. First we'll get our inputs in. Okay. So over here is going to be total. And then down here, obviously we're trying to figure out revenues. These are going to be hours filled in here, but um, down here we're going to be doing monthly revenues. Just monthly revenues. And if you're following along, if you get a little bit lost, the thing is to just keep going with it and eventually it will just all come together. You will have learned a good amount. It's actually good to not have everything oversimplified because then it forces you to kind of dig into it get the entire concept.
Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and enter in our hours. 